What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE action figure set up, and it is WrestleMania 38 edition. So what is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. We have a brand new WWE action figure set up for you guys. And today it's WrestleMania 38 edition. WrestleMania coming up this weekend. The two night event coming up this weekend. Of course we are going to review the show. We got plenty of WrestleMania content coming your way. So today man, we are bringing back the action figure setups. Have not done one of these in quite a long time. But I figured in honor of WrestleMania man, we got to cash in on it and see what we can get out of it. I felt pretty good about it. You know, I'm a little rusty on my setups, but I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So with all that being said, man, let's start off in the GM's office and we will work our way around the entire backstage area and go through this WWE action figure setup. All right, man, so you guys know the rumors, right? Cody Rhodes apparently has signed with WWE. It's been confirmed by multiple sources already, but I have my gripes. I'm, I'm on the fence about it. I don't know if I quite believe it just yet, but I do have, you know, just to represent it a little bit of this WrestleMania weekend, we have Vince McMahon and Cody shaking hands in the office, of course, and maybe it'll happen. Maybe Cody will show up. And speaking of which, on the outside of the door, you will see Seth Rollins knocking on the door. Vince McMahon said that he has a secret special opponent for WrestleMania for Seth Rollins, and will it be Cody? We shall find out. I'm actually worried it's going to be Shane McMahon or Veer or somebody random, but we'll have to find out, man. We will have to find out exactly what happens at WrestleMania, but I am intrigued. I'm intrigued to see what happens. I hope it's Cody, but, you know, I'm on the fence about it. Now, coming right here, we do have Sami Zayn just kind of hanging out, stretching it up. He's got his match with Johnny Knoxville. Not thrilled about the matchup, but we do have Sami Zayn represented. He is in a pretty, I mean, it's, it's not high profile for my standard, but it's still a pretty high profile match as far as WWE is concerned. Johnny Knoxville got a celebrity match. Let's see what he can do. If we come over here, I wanted to make reference to Will Smith and Chris Rock, so the only way to do that was to have Ronda kind of bish slap Charlotte right here, so I have her smacking Charlotte in the face. I hope Ronda wins the title. I know her promos have been lackluster leading up to the event, and I'm not, uh, I think the match will be very good, but the build has been terrible. I'm happy Ronda's back, but I just am ha I'm happy for her matches, man. I'm looking forward to her matches. I don't really care about the in-between stuff for her. I just want to see her in the ring. Hopefully, the match will deliver. Over here, we have Shinsuke Nakamura, and if you notice, he'll have a big smile on his face because he's walking towards the, uh, you know, Vince McMahon's office just to thank him for being on WrestleMania's card because I don't think that the matchup he has is the best matchup. I don't really clarify it as a WrestleMania match, but hopefully, it'll deliver. Hopefully, it won't be bad, but uh, he's on his way there to thank him for that. If we come over here, man, we do have father and son. We have Dominic and Rey Mysterio giving a fist bump right there. They got a big tag match at WrestleMania. Another matchup that I just do not care about, man. I feel like WrestleMania 38 kind of lackluster on the matches, and so this is one of those, man. Not really looking forward to it, but Rey and Dom are represented right here. If we come right here, this is not really a match, but more of a moment, I think. Stone Cold Steve Austin is probably going to come out and beat the hell out of Kevin Owens. So I do have my Kevin Owens Stone Cold Steve Austin custom here. You guys know we made a whole video about it. If you guys missed that, go check it out on the channel. I show you guys how you can make your own Stone Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kevin Owens, or you can make your own Stone Cold Kevin Owens figure. But I think that, you know, Stone Cold's gonna show up, he's gonna be pissed, he's gonna point at, he's gonna point at KO, he's gonna give him the stunner and flip him off and have a great WrestleMania moment. I think that's what, what's gonna take place here, but I have him chasing after him in the setup. Now, I know if he were to ride this four-wheeler straight through, he'd run over a bunch of people, so, you know, you gotta, you gotta mix your, you gotta meet me halfway there. It's got some realism mixed in, but it also has some fantasy stuff kind of mixed in, so you gotta meet me halfway. But there's Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kevin Owens. So we go towards the back. This is one of the funnier slash very sad parts of the setup. You're probably like, why the hell's the IC champ and the United States champ hanging out on the couch? Like, what's this about? But I have Ricochet and Finn Balor, both champions, both chilling, because right now they don't have a match at WrestleMania. Very sad. Like, how's that happen? You have Johnny Knoxville, Logan Paul, all these garbage matches on your card, and you can't fit two of your best athletes, two of your best professional wrestlers on your roster on the card defending their championships? At this point, I wouldn't care if you just threw the IC title in a race. Razor Ramon, Scott Hall, honorable intercontinental ladder match and make it part of WrestleMania's history from now on, man. Have a Razor Ramon ladder match special every single year at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental Championship. It, it writes itself, bro. I mean, good God. You have Ricochet, High Flyer. You could easily make a Razor Ramon ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. Razor Ramon was in the first ever ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. It literally writes itself. And then Finn Balor, my boy over here. Just, just, they're champions 
for no reason. Not gonna feature them on your card. Two night event. You got a two night event and you can't fit these two guys. You're champions of no less. No, Not only are they two of the best wrestlers, but they're two champions on your brand and you can't fit them on a two night biggest show of the year. Makes me sick. Bro, I gotta make a whole video about that. Jesus Christ. Anyways, let's move on. You got Brock Lesnar coming in the front door looking for Roman Reigns. About to beat the hell out of him. I'm actually looking forward to the match. See what comes of it. Nonetheless, Brock Lesnar is, is pretty angry. Coming forward a little bit, we do have New Day all together. I think Sheamus and Pete Dunne are wrestling Xavier Woods and Kofi at WrestleMania, I think. Or is it Sheamus and Rich Holland? Nonetheless, man, prayers out for Big E for a speedy recovery. Very terrible accident. I was actually at the show where it happened. I was probably 10 feet away, 8 feet away from where it happened and, and witnessed it live. So it's a very scary situation. But prayers for Big E to make a full recovery. But we do have all the New Day here together. Hopefully they stomp a mud hole and Sheamus and Rich Holland. I love Pete Dunne, but now he's butch now. So we have Bailey and Alexa Bliss waiting in the wings to return. So I just have them over there in the injury area. I don't think Alexa Bliss is injured, but Bailey was injured, you know, and now they're just kind of waiting on to return. So there's that. If we come to the front of the setup, you got Bianca Belair cracking her knuckles, ready to beat the hell out of Becky Lynch. I love Becky. I love Bianca. Hopefully this matchup slaps, but you know, Bianca is probably going to get a revenge from, you know, when, when she lost the title. Right here, we have Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan laughing it up at Sasha, Shayna, Zelina, Naomi, Natalia, and Carmella. Lots of uhs going on, but they're all beating the hell out of each other. You got the Fatal 4-Way Women's Tag Team Championship match. Not a match I'm looking forward to. Hopefully, it'll be good. I just hope that I hope that Rhea and Liv win the titles. I think that'd be cool. I would like to see Sasha and Naomi win. If it's any of those two teams, I'd be fine with that, but I think I've gotten the most enjoyment out of Rhea and Liv Morgan. We'll have to see what comes of it, but they are, they are fighting all in the setup. Coming forward again, I know I don't have Matt Riddle. I don't have the Street Profits. I don't have those figures represented here. I do have them, but I kind of ran out of room, as you guys can see over here. But I had to fit my boy Randy Orton in here, so I do have a beautiful RKO landed on Otis right here. In the triple threat tag match for the Raw Tag Titles, I have RK Bro going over right there. I think they should, and I, I have them winning, so I got an RKO represented here. We come over here, man. We do have we do have Trash Corbin getting recycled. Got Drew McIntyre taking out the trash, so we do have him dumping Trash Corbin into the recycling bin. Absolutely have to do this. You know, Drew McIntyre, I like him a lot. Happy Corbin trash, Madcap Moss trash. You guys know he's all about the trash. So I have him dumping him in there, getting, uh, you know, get him some nice comeuppance there. I hope that Drew gets a good win here. Terrible WrestleMania match. Another match that's not WrestleMania quality. There's so many matches like that on this card. Makes me sick, but you can leave Ricochet and Finn Balor off. It just makes me want to jump off a cliff. But Drew McIntyre's here dumping out the trash. Now, this is a matchup that I just now learned very recently that we were getting. We have Bobby Lashley going one-on-one -on -one with Omos. Uh, again, another matchup where... How how was this match on the card? I just don't understand. I mean, it'll be cool to see the two big guys get in there and go at it, but I hope Bobby Lashley gets a good win. I just have him doing some deadlifts over here, getting hyped for his Mania match with the big guy, Omos, and hopefully it won't be terrible. Another matchup that I'm not really looking forward to, though I do like Pat McAfee, Austin Theory growing on me a little bit. Him going one-on-one -on -one with Pat McAfee, not a WrestleMania match again, man. Jesus, I, I just don't get it. Love Pat, but, I, oh man. Austin Theory and Pat McAfee, I don't have a Pat McAfee, so I just have Austin Theory chilling over here. We do have AJ Styles walking around the setup, just trying to chill, and then if you look up in the rafters, who's up there, man? You got the crazy edge, man, looking down on him, probably about to rain hell upon AJ Styles, so I do have that represented here, and Edge's character is taking a really dark side, you know, the, the change in theme music, he's got a lot of more dark elements coming about him, and I think that we are going to see a banger of Mania. Probably the main match I'm looking the most forward to, definitely up there, but Edge and AJ Styles are represented here. We'll see what comes of it. Hopefully, it is a good one. Next up, we have Miz on the phone with Logan Paul. You know, he's talking to him on the phone, talking about, you know, plans and stuff for the WrestleMania match, but they do have a matchup together. So, you know, we don't have a Logan Paul figure, so they can't talk to each other. So, I do have them on the phone. We have Butch. We have Sheamus and Pete Dunn in my book. It's not Butch. I'm not calling him Butch, bro. That's Pete Dunn. Sheamus and Pete Dunn talking here. We don't have a Ridge Holland figure yet, but they're talking it up on their plans for Mania. Another matchup that, again, is not WrestleMania worthy, bro. It is just not. The New Day versus Sheamus and Ridge Holland. Why? Just not, not mania worthy. And then to finish up our setup, man, we do have the bloodline. We got the Usos over here, and then we have the big dog, Roman Reigns, the tribal chief with his towel resting up. You got Paul Heyman with the universal title over the shoulder, just chilling, waiting, and waiting to beat Brock, man, to stack them, move the needle, pin the guy, win both championships. I heard that they're not even doing that. It's, it's called an undisputed or unification.
unification match when it's not even a unification match. Like, I, I, I don't understand. WWE has branded this pay-per-view as stupendous. So that is just, I, God in heaven, why do they got to do that? This WrestleMania just does not feel like WrestleMania, man. But anyways, that is my full WWE action figure setup for WrestleMania 38. I know that I kind of slammed the show in a lot of matches on the card, but bro, we do have some good matches on this card. We'll just have to hope that they live up to expectation. But I did have a ton of fun. Ronda fell over there, bless her. I did have a ton of fun setting this up. I do enjoy doing the action figure setups. You guys can let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, but I wanted to knock out this WrestleMania 38 setup. Let me know down below what you guys think of it down there, and let me know the match you're most looking forward to, man. But leave a like on this video. See if we can get this thing to 1,500, 2,000 likes, man. Big like goal. Can we accomplish it? Let's find out. Anyways, man, that is wrapping it up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video, and don't cross a line like this WrestleMania, because God in heaven, it definitely crossed the line. You crossed the line. I've been